Hello and welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. You got it. Hi there, welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. On this channel we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food at home as well as Malaysian Chinese street food. We have three generations of Chinese takeaway owners, third generation, and I'm fifth generation Malaysian Chinese street food chef. This is mum, she's fourth. Yes, hi all. So we kind of know what we're talking about. We don't know everything, no one knows everything, and people who say they do don't know anything. But we, we have a good idea. Yes, very good idea. Today, what are we doing mum? Today we're doing a capital chicken. Yes, we are. This recipe is in our cookbook. This one here, available from our web store, chinandchew.com. The link to the web store is below. This book is on the site. You just have to scroll down. A lot of people say they can't find it. I say if you just scroll down to the bottom of the page, it's there, and they go, oh yeah, I should have just scrolled down. So just scroll down. Yeah, just scroll down. And it will be, page it'll be right there. there. It's just because we can't change yeah. where they are on the website. Anyway. Not unless you are a billion, billion dollars uh, high-tech company, yeah, they can do it. Well, we are getting a new <laughs> site made. Oh yes, well, yeah. that's good. You know that, I said that yeah, last time. Yeah, who's making that? You did, you're going to do it. No. <laughs> Someone doing Someone's it. Someone's doing it for me, oh, yeah. Well done, get, <laughs> get on with that. Yes, can't wait. I know I'm not a technical person. I don't know what I'm talking about. No, you about. have no idea, do you? This recipe is in the cookbook. We're going to put pineapples in it today. Pineapples aren't in the cookbook, just because most places around here don't put the pineapples in, but I think it's nice, so we're gonna put it in today. This is known as Peking in a lot of places, and in some places, it's also known as OK. Again, this is just the standard sort of sauce you'll get for a capital sauce. There are many variations, many. Yeah. so you're not, a, you're not clever and you're not smart when you go, my takeaway doesn't do it like this, this is wrong. Your takeaway is one out of, I think it's 15,000 in the UK. Get your head out of your brain. <laughs> yeah, get your head out of your brain. <laughs> Gotta say ass, mum. Oh, right. <laughs> You have a brain, we'll work with that. Get your head out of your brain. <laughs> and I know loads of people go, you shouldn't offend your viewers like that. I said, well, that's probably because <laughs> you typing out are the kind of person that thinks like that and you're offended. Move on. We're not offending anybody. It is right and your head is your brain, isn't it? Without your brain, you're not going to function. So it's the brain, yeah, but some people it? don't engage it. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> for all of the 99% of you who are wonderful, thank you for being here yes. and we love you very much for being here. We're going to get on with the cooking now. Yeah, stop our banter. Someone might get really, really angry. I can see them fuming. Yeah, they do. They, they do yeah. sometimes. Psst. Hello to you guys. Hi. <laughs> Keep watching, don't switch it off. This is what you need to do one portion. We are going to be doing about three at a time in this video. So if you see larger quantities of chicken and ingredients, that's why. But this is what you need to just do one portion. The reason we're doing three is because we're going to be doing how to use them from frozen video. So you've got four dessert spoons of Bird's original custard powder. Can you show that? Yeah. This one, don't use the instant, it doesn't work. Four dessert spoons of potato starch. You can use corn flour, but it's not as good. 200 grams of sort of cubed chicken breast between two and a half centimeters by two and a half centimeters. Roughly, you don't have to have it exact. We have one quarter teaspoon of pepper, two thirds teaspoon of MSG, optional. Links below if you want to know why it's not bad for you, even though people will think it is. A third teaspoon of salt and a medium sized egg. We're going to combine these dry ingredients together to make the powder. And these are the ingredients you're going to need for the sauce. You're going to have some chopped onions, there's about a quarter of a chopped onion there, about half of a medium sized carrot, some pineapples, 150 milliliters, oh no, that, uh, that is potato starch slurry in a mix of one to 1.2 potato starch, so 1.2 potato starch is to one volume of water. So you're going to need four tablespoons of high tomato ketchup, that's the best one to use, most takeaways will use that. Really cheap ones will use off-brands and they're normally the takeaways most people kind of stay away from. 
three tablespoons of HP sauce, one and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil, half a dessert spoon of treacle. That looks like more than half a dessert spoon of, of black treacle. That's because it is. <laughs> We're gonna spoon that out because it's so thick. I can't just have one in there because I wouldn't get enough of it. Two dessert spoons, sorry, of Chinese rice wine vinegar. 150 milliliters of water, a dessert spoon of Worcester sauce, a teaspoon of garlic puree. I'll put the link in how to make that below. We've done a video on that already. One third teaspoon of MSG, optional. And then we've got two heap dessert spoons of sugar. So we've placed the diced chicken. Again, this is more than one portion. We did say we're gonna make more in this video. Let me just explain to you how to make one portion. We're gonna get the chicken and put it into like a tray like this. Now you can put this in a bag and shake it up. A couple of people have suggested doing that. That's absolutely fine, you can do that too. Uh, we like doing it the old fashioned takeaway way because there's just not enough time to bag things up. It's quicker just to do everything by hand. When you're, when you're doing takeaway portions, shortcuts like that aren't shortcut, shortcuts. <laughs> are they? No. Why is this hassle. shit taking forever? Why is this taking forever? Yeah, way more hassle. So you're going to just put two dessert, well, a dessert spoon and a half over your mix. That's what you would do if you're making one portion, but we're not. So you've just put a bit extra and you just want to coat this first layer. Now you need oil on the go. So we've got pan that's heating up as we speak, covering that in, um, or vegetable oil. And that's all we're going to use to coat it. I'm going to pour some egg in. We put a pinch, pinch of salt into the egg. Yeah, come on, come on. That's enough, I think. Maybe a bit more. That's the first stage done. That, that's first stage done. And now for the second lot of coating. So now all we're doing is picking that up and placing it into here. You want to drain some of the egg off. You don't want it all. And you just throw it into the batter, into the mix, sorry. And this will create your dry batter. Once this is coated, be ready to cook. If you want the batter thicker, by all means you can do this two or three times. Three times you will be making bricks, but I mean, it's completely up to you if that's what you want. That's exactly what you, you can do if you want. I think this is perfect. Yeah, Not good too size. much and not too right, too little, just yeah. perfect. So we're gonna set that aside and then put, well, and start deep frying them. You deep fry them once, let them sit for about 20 minutes and deep fry them again. That's how you get them nice and crispy. So we've got one of these. These things are called spiders and they are found on our links below. We've also got some paper lying on a tray to put these straight into to let them rest. A lot of people ask us why we put the um, the custard powder in. Well, that's two reasons. One, to, for colour. If you just use potato starch, it doesn't brown very well. It does brown a little bit, but not. it will never go a nice colour. So that's one reason. The second is they add sweetness without having to add sugar so the batter doesn't burn. And one more reason, which is three reasons, not two, is that it gives it a nice sort of eggy flavour. Yeah, that's right. Without having to use too many eggs, because too many eggs means that you won't get a nice batter. Anyway, so we'll, the oil is around 170, 180, and then it goes in for the first fry. You just want to knock off all the excess and put it into the fryer. First, this will take about five, six minutes. You want to make sure the chicken's over 76 degrees inside. That way it's done. I think you're always a bit hot. Just turn it down, right? You can judge by your own eye, okay? Because we are not there, stand by you and tell, uh, telling you. Not telling you, um, showing. showing you, yeah. So we're going to do, do this in two lots. Can you hear that sizzling sound? The mean the chicken is cooking. A takeaway, we'll do them like this and then make them into batches and freeze them. That's what we that's why we're making so many today, to show you that, that process. Isn't that right, Mum? Yeah, that's yeah, that's right. Okay. I just cook it louder. You don't have that microphone. Again, we forgot them. Yeah. You know we forgot them last video as well, that's our fault. And you forgot that again. You have got to be careful not to overcook chicken as well, because you can get tough. Yeah, tough. Not mean tough, you know. It's kind of mean the same thing. It's tough, it's tough. Yeah, it's no, but if, if you say something, tell somebody off, oh, tough. You know it's the Yeah, because it's yeah. tough luck, like, it's hard. Yeah. Oh, is that what it means? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 58, 72. Yeah, that's going to be over. Yeah, 78. 76. We're going to take these out and let them rest. That's the perfect size, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to do the second half. And we won't show you the second phases of frying, but after 20 minutes, you want to dunk them in and then um, carry on frying. We're just going to finish these off and uh, we'll cut to making the sauce next. 
So we are heating up the wok. This wok is um, from Miko Lifestyles. It's available from a link below. Um, they gave us this one and we're really impressed with the wok. So we're using it for a couple of videos for them. And yeah, it's handmade. We've used it in another video before. It's brilliant. It is, yeah. Really, really, really well, really good quality. Good quality, good weight. We actually prefer to use um, the, flat the, one. the flat ones, but they don't do the flat ones. So we're using the, the this specialist induction wok cooker for it at the moment. So that's nice and hot. In goes the oil. When the oil is in, you're going to want to put your onions. The good thing about this wok though, is because it's so thick it holds the heat. You're going to put a handful of carrots. The carrots actually flavour this quite a bit. And then you want to put at the same time some pineapple. And you want the pineapple to catch. That will give you a really nice caramelisation flavour, wouldn't it? Yeah, it is. We're going to add the MSG, let that brown off a little bit and when that MSG is brown you, you'll be able to see it brown and you'll be able to smell it in goes your garlic puree. You want to be quick with this, you don't want it to burn, you just want it to cook quickly. Yeah, cook quickly, it's not burn, alright? Within seconds you want your ketchup to go in, your brown sauce. You want to cook that, it will change the flavour completely. Now in goes your water. Yeah, sorry if you, if you can't see what's going on. Because it's quite intensified here. Your Chinese rice wine, your sugar, rice wine vinegar, sorry. It's rice wine your vinegar. Worc your Worcester sauce. And then your sugar sauce. And you're just going to let this simmer down for a little bit. We're going to put chilies on this as, as we put chilies on everything. We like it. We like it a bit of heat. It's optional with chilli, okay? Yeah. This should be naturally thick. You're just using a tiny bit of this to thicken it up. So we've double fried the chicken. Well, we've double fried this lot here. That lot, yet yeah, we haven't. So you don't double fry if you're going to freeze it. You only double fry if you're going to use it. Again, a little bit thicker now. Sorry about this. Can you see it? Yeah. I think maybe next time we'll get the camera, a different camera. Yeah. I see it's like so that's thickening down. itself, but when it gets like that, you just want to thicken it a tiny bit. Bit by bit, this is corn uh, potato starch slurry. Corn flour is not as good because it will cook out. You want this sauce to be fairly thick. So that's lovely. And I'm just going to handle these in. And there you go, coat it. Right. Now we're going to dish this up. Okay, so here we go. Now, I, oh, we obviously know what this tastes like, but. Mmm, <laughs> good. Mm. It's rich. It's not sour, it's not sweet. It's completely different from sweet and sour. It is sweet. Not like sweet, 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 you know? I don't know, I think it is. <laughs> I know it's sweet, but some, some of them can be a bit really sweet. It's just got, uh, like a, I'd say, an earthier flavour. Mm. It's go well with pork as well, if you want to try it out with pork. And prawns as well. This is one of the only um, dishes that I think works really well with fried rice, because it's strong enough to go through the flavour of the fried rice. Normally, boiled rice is better with most things. We really enjoy eating it. Mm. can see it's silent. So there we go, capital. Sorry, I need another bit. Thumbs up for this. So, thanks for watching, guys. There you go, capital chicken. Chicken. Um, if we were doing this at home for ourselves, we'd use chicken breast, if we're honest. Chicken thigh, sorry. Yeah. It'd be much, much nicer. But no takeaway, we'll be using chicken thighs. So that's why this is what this channel is about takeaway cooking. Not the best way, it's a takeaway way. Doesn't mean it's bad. A lot. Someone once said to us, "I don't like them because they say their food is bad." No, I said we never said it was bad. We just said it's not the best way. But if you want your standard takeaway, it's not going to be the best, is it? So like McDonald's isn't the best way to make a burger. It's still delicious. Anyway, <laughs> Mum. Hmm. Good watching. 
press the like button and comment and subscribe. Mm. Happy cooking, happy eating. Well done, you got all three then. It's the first time ever. <laughs> all right. Cheers, guys. Must be that capital sauce. Yeah, capital. Yeah. Capital sauce making you smart. Disclaimer, it doesn't. <laughs>